Hey, welcome to Ice Age TV, part two, Valentine's Day love conversations, and boy, oh boy, I just really do love the vehicles I have right now. Challenging when I say you want to get something different, so what is going on now? I tell you what, I think I'm running back up the road and getting some crusher run, kind of pack my driveway down a little bit, so I'm kind of on the fence right now. Do I do a tow review? Of the power boost compared to the Ram 3500. And yesterday, I forgot to check the weight of this trailer. And that's what I'm doing right now. So this, this trailer has, I guess you can add 7,000 pounds to it. I'm trying to kind of figure out what, uh, what this thing weighs. So it's 16,100 pound, 16K trailer. So I guess you can load, um, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what this thing weighs empty. It's just hard to believe, 7,000, there's no way. I don't know, this is confusing. All right, I just looked up the, uh, the weight so it's 4340 empty weight but i put this on so 4440 4500 pound trailer and i put 10k in it so that puts this thing at what 15 yeah yeah 15,000 pounds wow <laughs> wow so this truck here I couldn't even do that. I don't think I could. You know, what's interesting is this has a weight scale thing. I'm very intrigued on that. I'm so intrigued to take the, the power boost just to see the difference and how they drive down the back roads. I mean, I don't know. I just love my Ram truck. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it really worth doing that just to kind of see what goes on? What I want to do, I want to look at my uh, scale thing on my truck. And I want to see if uh, I can figure out if you can actually take that. And let's, let's get in the truck here. I think there's a scale thing. But I, I think it's just for the bed. I don't know how how to figure out the, uh, the trailer. What's your thoughts? See, Joe works for me. He's like, dude, you got to put that crusher run in here to pull this rock together because it's just so loose. Eh, I don't know. Part of me says, get it some pressure run. I'll do a nice run over here. Another run over there. It's just kind of maybe, I mean, I don't disagree. This stuff is loose. Downside to this loose stuff on your motorcycle is, <laughs> yeah, you get a little squirrely real quick. So, question is, do I go up there and do that today? Ah, I just don't have time. You know, property, the projects are never ending. You have no idea how many days lived on this property. <laughs> It took me half a year to build that barn. I mean, I lived, it was, I mean, it was, ah, money, time, driving up and down the road, buying stuff. Yeah, so let's get this thing out of the way, because no matter what, we got to get this truck out of the way to uh, get the other truck. But let's actually park this thing. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. It's so funny. It's time the air conditioning is coming on this thing for the seat. Is that crazy? Let's do that right now. That's crazy. So now, where do we go to settings? Features. Probably go to features. And let's see here. Um, towing. Power flow. Onboard scales. Oh, smart hitch. Okay. Eh, I'm gonna go back. What is smart hitch? Okay. All right. Wait. Huh? I don't know. What is that all about? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, what do you do next? Interesting. Yeah, so I don't know. Do we do it? Do we make a power boost tow review 
when what's even the GBW capability of this truck? I think it's maybe 12K. So in that aspect, I don't know. Very debatable. Debatable. Let me think this through. And there goes the Ram girl. There goes the Enoch Warcher truck today. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's me? How's it running? Great. Check I engine light still on? Yep, yeah. Sure is. But I get 15.8 miles per gallon and it has 84,000. How many miles per gallon? 15.8. All right. I'm going to make a guy take a call. Have fun. Be safe. Okay. There goes the kid. All about the pipe. The love of the pipe. Right? You know what it's all about? The exhaust note. She loves that. I mean, the love. That kid loves that thing. I mean, it just doesn't end up. Oh, there she goes, giving the pipe. Oh, with the pipe. All right, you know what I'm gonna do for my YouTube channel? I'm gonna do the review with the dump trailer. How about that idea? Let's have some fun. I wanna have some fun. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna pull that truck out, get that trailer unhooked. Project, project. Uh, what do I do to myself, right? What do you do to yourself? I don't disagree. Yikes. All right, I'll do this just to eat my own words. Just to the guys like, hey, the gals like, so you really think that F-150 Power Boost can do everything that Ram truck can do? Well, no. But I think that the F-150 Power Boost can do a great job towing that and towing that and that. I mean, that thing, I just showed a whole tow review and this thing did phenomenal. And got my uh, door thing here. Should probably close that up, even though there's nothing in here. Probably left the lights on. Trailer's pretty uh, trashed. Let's see here. How oh, lights work? Good. So uh, not much in there to take. But anyway, so yeah, so this trailer here. So now let's unhook. The uh, trailer over here, get the truck out of the way, back the truck in, get this one hooked up, and let's see how we go. I really wish I had a, a uh, hydraulic lift. That's a project. Yeah, we're off the road, and so I think I'll do. Oh, here we go, man. Just never ending phone rings. All right, we're unhooked. Now, time to go get the other truck. So, Ram versus Ford. How about that theme today? Well, we got as many damn vehicles I have around here. It's never ending. <laughs> never ending. Never enough room. Never enough room. So now, I'm going to try to get the blue truck between that truck and the trailer. Otherwise, they're going to move that truck. Yeah, with all this property... Still don't have enough damn room. The projects, right? What I do to myself, right? Yeah. All right. Well, this will be interesting. Oh, geez. I should get that damn receiver out of that thing, but I didn't do that. So I wasn't very smart. I'm going to use a different receiver. How about that idea? Let me go over to my receiver. So over here is my receiver bin with all my trash. And what do I use today? What do I use? Probably should use... The same thing I used towing that other trailer. Probably use this one here. Probably a good idea. Yep. I mean, dude, I'm really to see the weight thing. That's what I want to see. This thing tells much weights back there. And is this truck a 12k or 14k setup? I don't know. All right, let's get the truck out. And yeah, was I planning to do this today? I was not. 
I was really fixated on doing another run, but I'll disagree. I think I need to put a little bit of crusher run this stuff because my concern is heavy rains will kind of wash this stuff out a little bit. So, eh. And here we go. We got another video to show on the power boost. Is the power boost really the power boost? So, let's see here if I get this thing in here without hitting something. See this here? Oh, there's that piece of wood. Do I hit it? Probably. Just, oh, I hit it. <laughs> What's the odds of that? That's that's funny. So that piece of wood right there in the driveway is literally, I'm backing right into it. And to get this truck and trailer more straight without having to move that truck over there, I create my own fiascos in life. Okay, so now I can't see how I line that up there. No way. And the challenges. All right. Thank goodness for this tow technology where you uh, can line things up. I think that's pretty close, but I don't think we're there. Now I see I'm too far over still. Oh, the adventures. Are you enjoying the video yet? The pain in the ass, line the truck up, take forever video. I'm just sharing with you. See, it's all about the fine detail. And eh, forget. All right, so now let's go to where the hell are we? Onboard scale, smart hitch. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Here's the next thing. So you got to hook it all up. But let's go back here to towing. So we got to add a trailer. Add a trailer. Trailer name. Okay, hold on here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if that populates. I'm gonna do anything yet. I'm gonna first hook up the trailer here and see what happens. Are we even close? Did I do okay? I did pretty good, but here's the challenge. I'm so close to this here. So let's see if we get it to catch. And then pull the trailer forward. I'll do that, but I can probably pull the truck back a little bit. Do that without busting my finger open. Here's my next challenge. So now, watch how this truck squats on this. That'll be interesting, right? So, you got all the weight now in the truck. Can I pull her forward? Let's see. Hey, how about that? I got it. All right, so now we'll raise this all the way up. But then I got this little quick thing. Oh, man, the phone just doesn't freaking quit ring, man. Jesus Christ. All right, the old chain crossover. This truck hasn't squatted much with this as I thought it would. And uh, see these little hooks? I hate it. It's like, this is so, so small. But I'm going to have to tighten that up because this trailer will. I got one hand use here, and my finger's going to freaking get cut open again. I can tell you that much. Just probably will happen, but uh, it's life, isn't it? Let's see here. Can I get it? Nah, I'm about to take the phone. And I'll see it here. Look at this. You're so tight. All right, let me get on our side here. And get her plugged in. Why don't you plug her in? I think this thing will populate to uh, ask about the trailer. That's my guess. Probably should put some air in the tires. It's a project. <laughs> Projects. All right, let's see if my theory plays out. Yes, it does. All right, add a new trailer. All right, trailer name. Let's do all that. Won't bore you with that. All right, so this is interesting. So it's showing I can go to 14,000 pounds. Hmm, what's that? Prompt me for trailer weight and vehicle ignition. Wow, what's that all about? That's kind of neat. Okay, confirm. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so, got it, all right, so there we go, all right. All right, so, that's interesting, now, I'm going to have to raise that chain, yeah, just doesn't end, but I got to do other things too, and got to check the tire pressures, tire pressures are supposed to be 80, so let me get my little gun out and see what that plays out to be in that, oh, I got that in my truck, I can do that right now. 
These little guns are pretty cool. Maybe out there that wants to manage your tires. This is a great tool to have. Different companies out there. Here's an Avid Power one. And we'll get that one out. And show you how to do that. I showed it in my other video. It's pretty cool. Truck looks good. And uh, yeah, here we go. Right toe. All right. So here we go. Power our little unit on here. And what's really neat is you can go ahead and set this thing up for 80. Yeah, these things do up to 80. Maybe even higher. We'll go to 80. Okay, now attach wrench will tell us exact pressure once we attach it. So, so wow, look at this. 43. That'll take some time to fill up on that. It just shows you how much this trailer has been sitting. I'm going to get another gun. We'll be here forever. I'm going to get my other guns here. and Oh, I just, so much information. Where the hell's my other guns? I can't remember. I think they're here in the garage. And the one I was supposed to charge up, I didn't have a charging thing for it. So I'll get two guns going here. Two different manufacturers. So I'll do that. Alright. So this is the Astro Al. I actually like this one better. At first, I didn't think I would. So he's out there mulling over which one to get. So I'll do that side while I do this side over here. So we kind of get the flow going. Here, same thing. You set it up. Just put your little digital thing at 80. Yeah, not neat. That fast that goes. It goes so much faster. I think this is a faster gun. Yep, the same thing, 43. You know, this is beyond believable. I hear a guy on his lawnmower. <laughs> There's no way. This is February 14th, winter. It's still winter. Are you guys out of the lawnmower out? No way. I'll tell you what, man, the whole, for the landscapers up here, the downside is I get their snow for their snow plow. Upside is, we don't have a winter anymore, so they're cutting grass on I have to honestly say that they're going to have grass cutting season from March through maybe November. All right, you see how slow this one is? This one here is at 54. Let's see this other one's at. And that one, I just started way before this one. This one here, this thing just came at 49. So, all right, ways to go, right? Yeah. I've got an air compressor on my shop, but I just love these little guns. And usually I can get them to go all the way. Pretty impressive. It takes a little time. That's why I run two guns. I've seen some grease. Do I have blown out a grease bearing? I need to clean this trailer bad. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, need to find myself. Got to change it. Well, these are doing that. I'm going to try to get my trailer here. Well, well, that ain't no good. <clears throat> that thing's dead. Do I have a second battery over here? So I do. Yeah. You definitely want to have at least two batteries. But you do have a 12 volt accessory to make it all work. All right, we're back in action. Need to charge this up. I'll get my case right here. Oh, where's my chargers? This isn't comfy. I'm missing my chargers. I don't understand that at all. Where'd I leave them? So how's this other one doing? That one lost some pace. Yeah, these are big tires. It's like only 59. So do I even get to 80? I may. On these tires here, I may have no choice to get on my air compressor. I mean, there is a fine line that those few regular everyday car you're all right, but I may have no choice but to power up my uh, air compressor here and have to get the trailer in here. But now, what's really, I don't know. Check out this here. Here's another gun, but I don't think I have a charging. 
So the charging supply is gone. So it totally, uh, I have no idea where I put it. May have thrown it in the tool bag. And well, here's another one here. So okay, here it is. So here is one. Here's two. I do have. And then this gun actually went bad. This got so hot it, it blew the line up. So these things are, you know, there's there's limitations on these. I mean, for what I'm doing, it works, but I get my backup compressor. But on the road, it's a good tool to have. So let's put that in. And plug in my charger here and start charging away. And then I get another battery over here, so I can do the same thing here. Oh boy, so I'm going to go to 70 and call it a day. These units get so hot, they get ruined. And I'm not going, I mean, I did this yesterday without... <laughs> with 40 pounds of pressure, so what's the big deal, right? Well, forget that idea. <laughs> these things are going to burn up. I mean, you literally, if you run these things too long, this thing ends up total just getting destroyed. So I'm back to good old days. So great idea, great concept on these for cars. For trucks, not so much. Much more challenging, so... Uh, Put this back where I got it. I'm about to back the truck up and trailer and do it the good old days way. The good old trusty air compressor. Alright, this is interesting. So it's saying enter the weight that enter trailer's gross vehicle weight rating. Okay. Alright, I'm trying. Well, what the hell is going on? I don't understand this. It just doesn't end. What the hell is going on? Yeah, I know that. Okay. Doesn't work. I don't want that. I don't know. It's all screwed up. All right, what a project. I mean, Jesus Christ. Tires. Tire pressures, it's all about the tire pressures, everybody. And wow, thank goodness for my little compressor because otherwise those things wouldn't do it. These tires are just so big. Because I've done them, I've used them in my other trailer tires, kind of surprised. Ah, eh, who knows? All right, follow me along, follow me along. Jesus Christ, can't believe I said it. All right, we are good to go. Trailer tires inflated now. Some ways, I guess some people watch my channel be like, well, how is it fair you can compare the Ram truck to this truck when your tires are flat? <laughs> and the uh, the truck is working that much harder to go down the road. I tell you, put my glasses. Oh, I can't keep track of where I keep all my stuff, man. It just doesn't end. These aren't really the glasses I want. I keep my other glasses around the house. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, in some ways, I don't disagree. I can say this can't be an exact. Where's the waters? It just doesn't end. <laughs> it just doesn't end, man. Uh, working on your truck. When you have all these different vehicles that I have, it's never ending. Chasing, looking for things. It just doesn't end. Because I drove the Maverick truck yesterday. And then I drove the Ram truck yesterday, right? And so if I drive like one or two vehicles in the same day... I change everything out, and then where I leave this stuff, oh, challenges. Just have one freaking vehicle, and your life would be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Sure would be. But I don't, I don't want that. Goofy glasses on. And now, so here's the thing. Where is the trailer? Settings, trailer, towing. I just don't understand. What's, okay. Like the active trailer, here it is. Okay, there it is. Okay, I got it now. I don't know why it's uh, I don't know. Trailer light mess, managed trailers. I don't know, doesn't make any sense. So, what's the smart hitch? Uh, 
Okay. Well, all right. Quick setup. What is that all about? Okay. What's that say? Ooh, really? That's interesting. I don't understand that. Okay. So when is that? I have no idea. That's got me curious. Let's go out of the truck and see what's going on. Turn my lights on too. Let's see here. Right, let's see what's going on. I don't know. Those lights are on. Flashers are on. Those flashers are on. So that's weird. There's some little rocks down here. It'll fly out going down the road. So I don't know. All the side marker lights are on. Yeah. Things on as far as I know. Strange. It's all this new technology. It's all this new technology by driving nuts. Ay, 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 ay. Right? Ugh. All right, let's go back to our... I mean, let's turn off that. Turn off that. I don't know. So how the hell... Onboard scales. All right, okay. So we're at 1,289 pounds. <laughs> All right. Now what do I do, right? <laughs> cool. All right, let's just drive the damn truck. I mean, Jesus Christ. I'm sure a lot of guys like, man, I just get in my truck and I just go. This technology by driving you nuts. You mean I get I'm not it? Not sure I understand. Oh, here's this stupid ass technology on my wrist. You want me to? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go on the trailer review. Power Boost versus the Ram. That's what it's all about. The only reason I'm doing this is because I want to see what the feeling is on the different modes. So we're gonna go to trailer mode and. Let's see here. Tow. All right. There we go. So go through. Man, I tell you, this truck's trashed. We came back up in that, uh, which is really bad weather. I've never washed this truck yet. Yes, yeah, so right, now, right now, this trailer is nothing. I mean, I'm going to tell you now, this trailer doesn't feel any different than from my Ram. Going up the hill, we'll find out a little bit more, but 